Waking up at 4.45 is extremely hard. And that's why I'm going to do it for an entire week. The morning starts off by drinking a glass of water, and this is extremely important to your day, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. And then after drinking a glass of water, I get on my swimsuit and then prepare for one of the hardest challenges of the day. And that is to jump into a cold shower. In my last video of me doing this, I jumped into an ice bath, but since it's May now, I have to do it in a cold shower because the water wouldn't be cold enough. But either way, this is extremely hard. This was by far the worst part of the entire day because it was so cold and icy. And on the other hand, it was nice because it woke me up from all my tiredness. And it helped me prepare for the rest of the day. If you guys don't remember what comes next, it's a meditation, and I meditated for about 10 minutes while using a breathing technique to warm me up. Ooh, get ready, run, and then hit the gym. And then the run came next. This was really fun, and it helped me think about how fire my workout was going to be. If you haven't ever seen one of these before, it's called a tone. They're really fun to use. You can get a killer workout on them, and you can do it in the comfort of your home. But this is just temporary until we can get a better gym. So today, most of my workout consisted of bench press, curls, scapular push-ups, decline, fly, kneeling cable, crunch, and some leg raises. And then shortly after my workout, I realized that it had been exactly one year since I started working out, so I decided to take an after picture. So this is what I look like right now, and I'm extremely happy with this because this is what I looked like just one year ago. And after this much progression in just one year, I can't wait for what the next year brings. So I made my milkshake and breakfast. And of course, this time I added a banana. And other than that, I just had a toast and egg. And now it's time for day two. This right here by far was the hardest. But I decided to keep pushing through because I want to show everybody that you can do whatever you set your mind to. And if you're wondering why I'm doing this, I'll tell you right now. I'm doing this because one, I have to because I promised you guys I would. But I need to do something to drive me more, something that would make me want to do this. And is that you can get to a mental state where you just keep pushing through and your body just accepts that you're not going to give up. And I want to be able to do this with anything and I want to teach you guys how to do this too. And that is my driving force. That's why I'm going to keep pushing through. So subscribe if you want to see me do more challenges like this. And after meditating for about 10 minutes, no that I wasn't gonna give up and using the same techniques as yesterday. A killer light jog and then I hit the gym. Today I was doing triceps from the back so I started out by doing overhead tricep extensions then seated lat pull downs then reach and rotate open up then some single arm rows then I finished off with some seated rows and resisted ab lifts. Unfortunately since I'm still suffering an elbow injury I didn't do too much triceps but I did end up hitting 100,000 pounds. Then I finished off the morning routine with my breakfast. At 4.45, I did the usual. I drank a ton of water, and then I did a quick warm-up, and then I took a cold shower. Just after that, I meditated and then went on a quick run. Then I made myself some electrolytes and then hit the gym. My workout started with squats, then stretches, then some more squats, then lunges, followed by a squat hold, then some more stretches. Then I ate breakfast. Now I'm going to tell you the why behind everything. Why I drink water at 4.45 right when I wake up is because it'll cleanse your body without having anything in it. Then I warm up right before I take a cold shower just to get me feeling better. Then the cold shower is super important. This helps cleanse your body from any toxins that it has sitting in it, and it will wake you up. Then I sit and meditate for about 10 minutes. And I do this while I'm still wet because it makes me shiver. Shivering will help your muscles contract and relax, making you warmed up and better ready for a workout. And then I go on a light jog, and this is really helpful because it gets me warmed up even more, and it gets me woken up for the day. And then I work out. This is my favorite part of the day because it makes me feel like I'm getting stronger and building muscle, which I am. In this workout, I did some overhead presses, rows, far marches, front raises, and some ab rotations. And then I have my milkshake and my toast and egg. And this, this is where I had my first major setback. I couldn't fall asleep until 12.30. But that aside, I kept pushing through and decided to not give up. Again, I needed to get to a mental state where I wasn't going to give up and I wasn't going to let my body think that it was going to give and up. And it came to the second to last day of doing this routine. The last day consisted of the usual, the cold shower, meditation, drinking of water, my light jog, and then I did the workout, which consisted of overhead press, lateral raise, shoulder shrugs and some stretch then I ate breakfast and it came to the very last day and this was an amazing feeling. but I think it's important to have off days so I decided to just do some stretching some reading and some guitar and that puts a wrap to this video guys I hope you enjoyed if you did go to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this thank you guys so much for watching